I mean, uh, we got sound from the Romney boys on uh, on Conan, which I just found to be just disturbing. I I found it to be disturbing. Let's. Uh, uh, this is this is the 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 five Romney boys tag. Tag, Biff, John, Tag. I don't know what their names are. Uh, Mitt. I know there's a Matt. Matt. Because it's kind of funny. Mitt and Matt. Tag. <laughs> All five of them. There's four. I think four of them are named Tag. And one is named Matt, I think. Is that right? <laughs> Whatever. They're on there. Now, keep in mind. Why do these people, and now, of course, all five of these guys will probably have jobs in the media uh, after the election, after their father loses. <laughs> but uh, they'll probably be hosting their own TV shows. That seems to be the way it works. But be that as it may, understand they are on Conan to sort of increase the hip factor of their dad and to get the idea out there that he's not a stiff, he's not a bad guy, he's just like one of the gang. Well, I'll tell you. I would like to isolate the video on the eyes of these guys because if they were blinking SOS, I would not be surprised. There seems to be some, like, uh, if this was concurrent with their youth, this interview, I'd be calling social services. Play this clip. I don't know if we'll get the whole way through it, but play, play some of this clip. Your dad is running to, uh, for the presidency, United States of America, and people are trying to get to know him and uh, there is, you know, all kinds of like, what kind of guy is he? And trying to understand who he is, I thought you guys could tell us, who is this Mitt Romney? What's he all about? First of all, you claim that he likes pranks. So, you know, when you go on these shows, what they do is they pre-interview you. They sit, you sit down with the segment producer and you work out the questions because if you're a comedian, you want certain questions to lead you into a bit. And if you're an actor, it's like, hey, do you got any uh, good stories? Yeah, I got a good story about the time I went and, you know, I, uh, somebody puked on my shoes and I fell down or whatever it is. And in this case, uh, the people handling Romney's brother, uh, the sons, Romney's sons are like, look, we want to come on. We want to talk about what a regular guy Mitt is and uh, that he loves pranks. Now, we've heard this over and over again. And it's a little bit creepy now because we know one of the pranks he pulled was uh, to forcibly cut the hair of a student that he thought was too gay looking uh, in high school. But let's put that aside for a moment. Let's, uh, let's do this one. He does like pranks. Oh, he doesn't like to get pranked. Uh, and, uh, we <laughs> no learned, one does like to get we, pranked, We learned Josh. that the hard way. <laughs> We've learned that the hard way. I know uh, we, had, we have one of those basements at our house, one of those scary, you know, old New England basements, as you probably grew up with. And uh, you had to walk in like three or four steps into the basement to turn the light, you know, pull the light switch down. So I heard my dad coming down the stairs, and uh, I turned the light off and hid back there. And so I saw him walk in the room, was trying to just. How long ago was this, by the way? Pause it. I'm going to briefly tell you a story. When I was in high school, my sister, who is about six or seven years younger than me, lay in wait in the bushes for me. Because she was going to have a water fight. She was wearing a raincoat. She was like seven. And I was like 14. Or maybe she was like eight and I was 14. And she was there with a hose or with a bucket. I can't remember what it was. Laying awake because we were having a water fight. And I was coming back from school or whatever it was. And I saw her. And I easily dodged whatever she had. And I took the hose. And I basically put it down on her jacket. And I wasn't, you know, too rough with her about it. But I've told this story to my daughter, who is six or seven. And I got to say that I felt a little bit bad. Like, like I, I don't remember myself being sort of brutal about it. But I do remember, like, I'm going to teach you a lesson, which is like, you know. You're also 14. I'm 14. I understand. But I, I'm relating this story to my daughter. So I, I have to back off it because I feel like I, I don't want... I don't want to impart the sort of like the creepiness here. I tell you that because I want you to listen to what happens next in this story. This was, uh, this was a while ago. Okay, good. So we didn't have Secret Service protection no. at the time. Because <laughs> that's a really stupid idea. Yeah. 
So I, uh, as he's looking for the light, I grab his, his arm in and, the dark. and scream in the dark. And it, it terrified him. Did he and shriek? Did he scream? He shrieked a bit, yeah, a little shriek. A little shriek. You just but admitted he turned, your dad shrieked. He, <laughs> <laughs> he, he turns the lights on and looks at me and just tackles me to the ground and says, you know, and he's wrestling me to the ground. He goes, was it worth it? And I'm, I'm sitting there. <laughs> And that, just made it, the heat. And, that, and that just made it that much funnier. And so I'm like, yeah, still worth it, Dad. And he keeps wrestling me. Still worth it? Yeah, still worth it, Dad. That's a very so, frightening prank to jump out at your yeah. father in the dark. Yeah, he didn't like it. He didn't like no, it. No, he didn't like it. Yeah, pause what it now. So you understand what happened here. This is not Romney, like, responding to it and grabbing the guy because it's dark and he thinks that there's some type of... No, he starts to beat the kid, <laughs> essentially, wrestling him on the ground. Was it worth it? Was it worth it? As opposed to, here's a guy who loves pranks. Instead of saying, that's my boy, you got me, uh, he's like, you know, I'm gonna, I'm, you're gonna pay for this. I mean, in a way that's not funny. It's creepy. It's a creepy response. This guy does not like, he doesn't mind, obviously, holding people down and cutting their hair. But if his son scares him, well, you're gonna pay for that. He's got to be the alpha male. He's got to be yeah. on top at all times. Yep. What, what pranks, does he like to play pranks? And if so, what kind of prank does he like to play? Yeah, he likes to play a lot of pranks. I, you know, I remember a story from when he was uh, in high school, or uh, I guess it was a little after high school, and his friend was getting Posit. married. Oops. We got to sit down with the brothers again. We do not talk about high school pranks. I thought we made that clear. We talk about pranks, but not high school pranks. You know they were bummed that he said that because as soon as he says he liked to play uh, high school pranks, I know that anybody who knows that story was thinking, like, he's not going to talk about that, is he? <laughs> his friend was getting married, and he found his way into the hotel room ahead of time, and all the, his, the groom's outfit was there, and he took some uh, pink uh, nail polish and wrote on the, on the first shoe, H-E, and the, on the sole, and the next one, L-P. And then no one noticed it, but then when he... It was a Catholic wedding, and when he knelt down to be blessed by the Father, the words help appeared. <laughs> it's a very good prank. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure they're still friends, but... Uh. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, I bet they're not still friends. These are friendly pranks, unless, of course, they get pulled on him, in which case then they get wrestled around. Now, as this goes on, it starts getting even, like, even more creepy because then the audience starts, like, all of this is, like... You know, the first thing sort of funny, like the father tackle, is it worth it, is it worth it? And then it's like, ah, oh, he sort of embarrassed everybody in this wedding at a, you know, a time where, you know, people, you know, it's funny to play pranks, but right at the sort of like getting the, uh, the, the sacrament and the most sort of like um, uh, holy moment, at least to these people, uh, you know, my father was able to sort of uh, really sort of screw that moment up. And he, they're no longer friends, of course. And then... Why would you even bring up that Mitt Romney's a prankster guy after the haircutting incident? Oh, right. Well, keep going. Then, then the audience like, starts to realize, like, hey, this, there's something sort of wrong here. No, the wife wouldn't think that was funny. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm curious. You, I've, I've heard a rumor that your dad likes to get people to try and smell things. Yeah. And then, uh, what does he do? He, he, uh, this is a fairly common prank. We always of his. fall for it. I don't know why we always. Well, fall well tell for us, it. Matt. What well, does he do? You know, it's, this butter is turned. It's so rotten. You got to smell it. It's like, oh yeah, of course. We have to smell it right away. And you go down and right into the butter <laughs> or the whipped cream. You're, you're, you're ending up with stuff all over your face. Well, I, wait a minute. Okay, so he's basically just smashing your faces yeah. into food all the time. Basically. And now we do it to our kids, you know, naturally. Well, that's uh, as it should be. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Cody does Romney. a good job here of trying to salvage it. But you hear the audience reaction when they're like, the laughs are just getting a little bit thinner. And all of a sudden, you know, there's something about the Romneys. Even even Conan's a little bit like, yes. like when like when they first say like, oh, he does this thing where he asks us to smell stuff, and he's and Conan even says, oh yeah, a common prank that kids pull. Right. The the interesting thing here is that this is the metaphor for the Romneys, isn't it? The longer they're out there talking, the more people are able to contextualize what they're saying. The more creeped out people get. I mean, that's a perfect example, and creepy.